All right, guys. Got three packages here today, and um, we're gonna start with the box here. I don't know what's in what box. Uh, honestly, can't tell you. Uh, I I can think of two things that I have that would have come in the mail. I'm not really sure what the third thing is, unless I bought two things from the same seller on eBay. So I'm curious, maybe uh, curious if maybe the um, two items were um, uh, shipped separately. All right, there's this from custom or from Super Mini Wheels. Um, so apparently this is a green light. I'll probably be surprised when I figure out what. It, oh, this is the checker. Okay. So I really, really like these uh, checker cars. Whether they're taxis or delivery cars or police cars or what have you. I just really like these cars. They're really cool looking cars. So, Greenlight has a civilian model in their Mecham Auctions Series 4. And, um, so I uh, decided to buy one. So there's a picture of the real car. Very pretty color. I'm not really sure what color you'd call that. It's kind of a mustard gold with a black vinyl top. Um, there's pictures of it. Doesn't say. Oh, it does say there. Uh, sold in Chicago for ten thousand four hundred and fifty dollars. Here's some facts about the car. You can read if you would like to. Uh, sounds like it's a really nice car. And then, of course, pictures of it from the front and the back and the interior. And um, so we're going to open this one up here. The last checker that I got from Greenlight was in yesterday's video. Oh! Yeah, we're good. Yeah. Plastic all of a sudden gave way. I've never, surprisingly enough, I've never had that happen before. Oh, that's a very, very pretty car out of the package. Angle this down so we have better lighting for this thing. So that really pretty uh, metallic, almost like a, a starburst beige. Starfire beige, I don't know, something like that. Pretty glossy, as you can see. Makes that vinyl top really stick out. Looks good. Have a marathon badge on the fender there. The one that the camera won't focus on. Something else the camera probably probably won't focus on. Oh, there it is. There is a Mecham Auctions license plate on this car and a sold sticker. Me it says Mecham sold on the uh, windshield there. Is it not going to focus? Nope, it's not going to focus. Sorry, guys. Can't do anything about that. Uh, the hood opens. I think the package said what kind of motor is in there. Nope. All right, here's what's special. Um, oh, six cylinder engine, which you can kind of tell just by looking at it, but I thought maybe there would be more information. Um, so, all right, here's something special about the real car. I, you guys probably could have paused and read this but I want to tell you this one of approximately 45 produced with vinyl roof and closed in rear quarter windows uh, most of these checkers 
had rear quarter windows where this uh, little chrome piece is back here you can you can kind of see the shape of it of the window uh, find something to point with here I don't have my little pointer point with this weird pencil you can kind of see the shape of the um, window there so uh, that's pretty cool honestly I, I gotta say if it were my car I would prefer to have the quarter window there but you know some people don't like that looks like something's crook looks like our back seats crooked if you look in the back window here something looks kind of that something looks crooked here. Um, I can see the Mecham auctions license plate, and then the trunk reads Checker Marathon, and it looks like there's a sticker in this back window here. I can't see what it is. but it's there uh check out the interior looks like a black dash with a tan seat and looks like maybe a table in the back you know, some of the old cars had something like that let's get our flashlight back out here just because this is something different I'm going to investigate a little bit. Maybe it's another seat. I can't see it very well. It sure looks like another seat. Yeah, they are. There's, there's two of them. They're swivel seats. That's something. So you got your back seat there. Well, do you? No, you don't really have a back seat. You just have the two swivel seats. You know, the back seat, I guess you do kind of have a back seat, but then you got the two swivel seats there. Man, detailed interior on this guy. I don't usually spend that much time on the interior, but they did a really good job on it. So a really, really nice car here. As as I mentioned, um, a, a great uncle of the family had a checker cab, or a, not a cab, but a, a checker back in the day. I don't remember my I don't my grandpa told me what color it was. I can't remember. Um, I'd like to have one at some point. Uh, I've seen. A uh, custom color of them was uh, somebody did a custom checker, and it was a, a unusual green color, which surprisingly this car looked good in. Although I do like this interesting color here. Bottom reads '72 Checker used under license. Got a very detailed uh, chassis here. <laughs> Collector numbers 2121. Yes, sir. Just a really, really nice car here. So, there's our video for. Excuse me, I'm sorry, I had to hiccup. Uh, this video uh, for this car. Make sure you check out these other two things, which will probably be in the. Uh, both of these things will feature the same video because I think they're just Hot Wheels. I like to give my green lights separate videos if I can, especially if I spend quite a while on them like I did this one. It's a super nice green light here. If I didn't mention it, I found this one on eBay if you're looking for it. Um, this was one I couldn't find on Troy's Toys, which is where I looked for it. Um, I talked about Troy's Toys in the last video. 
Not seeing a gas cap on this car unless it is some of the old cars had them under the license plate. The you know, license plate would flip up. I don't suppose that's what that chrome thing is. Let's look at our picture of the rear car. Well, we can't see what that thing is because there's the uh, push bumpers in the way. One thing green light didn't get was this car doesn't have any push bumpers. Well, and it doesn't have a license plate on it there, and you can see it doesn't have the gas cap back there. So it's a mystery where the gas cap is. All right, that's the passenger side of the car. That's the driver's side of the car. It's got to be... That's got to be what this chrome thing is here. I don't know a whole lot about these uh, checker marathons, but I'm saying that it's got to be this chrome thing or it's uh, somewhere else because these red things here are just reflectors. They could be lights, but they're not a gas cap. So anyway, like, comment, subscribe for more. Have a great day. I'll catch you in the next video. I'll get this car up on the turntable for you, and then be sure to check out the video on the trucks that's in these packages here.